general equation of a parabola. So, for this video, i-discuss natin yung general form ng parabola. Alam naman natin na yung equation natin, general equation ng second degree form, is ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equals to zero. So, for parabola, tanda natin kapag yung axis of the conic natin is parallel to the x-axis, our general form will be reduced into cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equals to zero. As you can see in our first general form, yung x squared at xy terms are missing. For our second general form ng parabola, where in this time, yung axis naman natin is parallel to the y-axis, it will become ax squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equals to zero. So for this second general equation, yung nawawala naman na term ay yung y squared at xy term. So para madali nating matandaan, kapag kung ano yung axis of the conic natin, okay, balikan natin yung equation 1, sabi sa equation 1, axis is parallel to the x-axis, tingnan nyo yung general equation. Kung ano yung variable na nag-iisa doon sa general form, yun yung axis of the conic natin. Okay, dito sa cy squared plus tx plus ey plus f is equal to 0, yung naiibang variable ay yung x, which is d, dito sa dx. Lahat yan, or may dalawa tayong may variable na y. So therefore, yung axis of the conic natin in the first equation is parallel to the x-axis. Tingnan natin yung pangalawang equation. Okay, yung naiibang variable is yung y, wherein yung dalawa na ax squared plus dx. Therefore, madali natin matandaan na yung second equation natin ay yung axis of the conic niya is parallel to the y-axis. Okay, yun yung basis na natandaan natin para madali natin ma-identify kung ano yung axis of the conic ng parabola natin. Okay, summary, an equation of the second degree in which the xy term is missing and only one square term is present represents a parabola with its axis is parallel to the coordinate axis. Example number one. Reduce the general equation 8x squared plus 64x minus 32y plus 63 is equal to zero to standard form, then draw the curve. So for our first example, meron tayong given na uh, general equation ng parabola which is 8x squared plus 64x minus 32y plus 63 is equal to 0. Ang gagawin natin dito sa example number 1 is i-reduce natin yung general equation ng parabola into its standard equation and then dodraw natin siya sa Cartesian coordinate plane. Because the only way para madali siyang may grab into Cartesian is to reduce natin yung general form ng parabola into its standard form. Okay. So, First, is dapat alamin muna natin kung anong format ba nung standard equation ang dapat natin hanapin. Okay, since sinabi ko sa lecture na para madali matandaan from its general form kung anong standard form ang dapat natin gayahin, is tandaan nyo kung ano yung variable na nag-iisa dito sa standard equation. Okay, napansin nyo, nag-iisa lang yung may y na variable sa ter na term, which is negative 32y. Kung ano yung nag-iisang variable, yan na yung axis of the conic na parabola natin. Therefore, yung parabola natin is yung equation na para yung may equation na 8x squared plus 64x minus 32y plus 63 is equal to 0 ay may axis of the conic na parallel to the x-axis. Okay. Since alam na natin na yung parabola natin is parallel to the y-axis, yung axis of the conic niya, alam natin na dapat yung format ng standard equation natin is given by x minus h squared is equals to 4p y minus k. Ito yung 
standard equation of the parabola. So, napansin nyo, yung standard equation dapat natin is nasa may left side yung may mga x at nasa right side yung may variable na y. Okay. Therefore, i-reduce na natin yung general equation natin in terms of this standard equation. Dapat nasa may left side yung may mga x at nasa right side yung mga y. So, transpose natin yung mga y at yung constant natin sa may right side ng equation. So, 32y minus 63. Okay. So, nakapansin natin, dapat yung x squared natin is may coefficient lang dapat siya na 1. So, divide natin yung both side of the equation by 8. Okay, divide natin by 1, 8. Okay. This will become x squared plus 8x is equals to 4y minus 63 over 8. Okay, as you can see, Mapansin nyo, ang method na susundin natin na is yung completing the square. Dahil, dapat, dito sa may left side ng equation is makabot tayo ng factor ng perfect square trinomial. So, mag-isip tayo ng dadagdag na third term para yung x squared plus 8x is maging perfect square trinomial. Okay, apply tayo na completing the square. x squared plus 8x Okay, to be the square, divide natin yung 8 by 2, then squared natin. 8 divided by 2, 4 squared is 16. Okay, 4y minus 63 over 8. So, yung, kung ano yung dinagdag natin sa may left side, dagdag natin dito sa may right side. So, plus 16. Okay. Di sa perfect square trinom yan, ang factor niya is x plus 4 squared. I simplify natin itong nasa may right side ng equation. This will become 4y okay. plus 65 over 8. Okay. Next is, napansin niyo dapat yung right side ng equation natin is naka-factor out yung constant. Dapat walang variable yung ay walang coefficient yung y natin. So, on our next step, pa-factor out natin yung 4 dito sa may right side ng equation. So, copy natin yung nasa left side. Okay, factor out natin yung 4. 4 times the quantity y plus 65 over 32. Okay. So, therefore, ito na yung standard equation ng parabola natin. Okay. Na may dapat yung format is x minus h squared is equals to 4py minus k. Okay. As you can see, in our standard equation, alam natin kung ano yung vertex ng parabola natin. So yung vertex natin, vertex is at negative 4, negative 65 over 32. Okay. Ito yung vertex ng parabola natin. Okay. After this, hanapin na natin yung mga distances na kailangan para mahanap yung iba pang parts ng parabola. Okay. Yung 4P is, as you can see in our standard formula, in our standard formula natin, 4P is 4. This is the length of latus rectum. Okay. Yung P natin is Okay Yung P natin is 1 Where P is yung distance Of vertex To focus And vertex To directrix Ito yun Next is yung 2P 2P is 2 Ano yung 2P? Yung 2P is yung distance ng focus 
to one end of the latus rectum. Distance of focus to one end of LR. Okay. Meron na tayong mga distances, so madali na natin mahanap yung iba pang parts nung parabola natin. Okay. So for this time, meron pa lang tayong vertex at yung axis of the conic natin. Okay, balikan mo lang din pala itong axis of the conic. Okay, malalaman natin, since parallel to the y-axis, ang only orientation ng parabola natin is it's either opening upward or opening downward siya. Okay, tingnan natin kung opening upward or downward ba yung parabola natin. As you can see in our solid equation, yung right side ng equation natin na 4p times 70y plus 65 over 32 is positive siya. Therefore, kung positive siya, yung opening ng parabola natin is opening upward. Therefore, is opening upward. Okay. Next is, hanapin natin yung focus. Or focus. Okay. Ang babasaya natin sa focus ay yung P. Or therefore, one dapat lang, one unit lang yung distance ng focus natin sa vertex. Okay, since, ano siya, yung parabola natin is parang to the y-axis, kukopyahin natin yung yung x-coordinate ng vertex natin. Dahil mag-move lang yung vertex to focus natin upward. Okay, kopyahin natin yung x-coordinate ng vertex para sa focus. Okay, negative 4. Okay, yung y-coordinate ng vertex na six, negative 65 over 32 since mag-move siya upward mag a tayo ng ano yung distance. Yung distance natin is 1, negative 65 over 32 plus 1 is equal to okay, negative 65 over 32 plus 1 is equal to negative 33 over 32. Okay, ito yung hinahanap natin na y-coordinate nung focus natin. Negative 33 over 32. Okay, ito na to. Ito na yung focus natin. Okay, yung kabalik na ng focus sa other side ng parabola is yung directrix natin. Directrix. Okay, one unit din siya away dun sa vertex pero yung opposite side. Copy natin yung Y coordinate ng vertex Pero this time Hindi tayo mag-add ng 1 Mag-subtract tayo ng 1 Dahil sa other side siya ng vertex o, Negative 65 over 32 Minus 1 This is Negative 97 over 32 So therefore okay, So therefore Yung equation ng directrix natin Is Y is equals to negative 97 over 32. Dahil yung directrix natin is tatamaan na yung y-axis. Kaya ang yung equation is y is equals to negative 97 over 32. Okay. Ang nangyintaralan natin na part ay yung endpoints of latus rectum natin. Okay. Hanapin na natin yun. Endpoints of latus rectum. Okay. Yung distance dapat daw nung focus sa one end na latus rectum is 2 unit Okay, LR1 and LR2 Okay Since nga para lang to axis yung axis of the conic natin So therefore, yung latus rectum natin is naka-locate naka-position lang siya is either sa left side or right side nung no, nung no focus natin So, yung gagalaw lang sa Latus recto, yung magalaw lang nun sa coordinate ng focus natin is yung x-coordinate niya. Yung y-coordinate ng focus is the same din dun sa endpoints ng dalawang latus rectum natin. So, okay natin yung y-coordinate ng focus para dun sa endpoints ng latus rectum. So, negative 30, 33, ay 32, sorry. Negative 33 over 32 and negative 33 over 32. So yung Una natin latus rectum Ito yung nasa may 
right side nung parabola. Okay. Kung nasa right side siya, mag add tayo ng 2. Okay. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Okay. Yung LR2 natin is yung nasa my left side naman nung focus. So, mamamainus tayo ng 2. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Okay. So, ito na yung parts ng parabola natin. So, madali na tayo makakagrap ng curve natin. Uh, yung parts natin, okay, ulitin natin, axis of the conic natin sa parabola is para to the y-axis, opening upward, our equation, sa third equation is x plus 4 squared is equals to 4 times the quantity y plus 65 over 32. Yung vertex natin is may coordinate na negative 4, negative 65 over 32. Yung focus natin is at negative 4, negative 33 over 32. Yung equation ng directrix natin is given by y is equals to negative 97 over 32. At yung endpoints of lattice rectum natin ay may coordinate na negative 2, negative 33 over 32. At negative 6, negative 33 over 32. So this time, we graph natin siya sa partition coordinate plane. So finally, yung graph na natin yung parabola sa Cartesian coordinate plane. Okay, by graphing, may check natin kung tama ba yung nasod natin ng mga parts ng parabola. Dahil first, plot mo natin yung mga parts, yung coordinate ng parts ng parabola natin. Then after that, plot na natin yung given na general equation ng parabola. First, plot natin yung nasod natin na vertex. This is negative 4, negative 65 over 32. Okay, next is yung focus natin. Negative 4, negative 33 over 32. Next is yung equation ng directrix natin. Our equation for directrix is y is equal to negative 97 over 32. Okay, yung directrix natin is represented by violet line. Okay, yung next part natin is yung dalawang endpoints ng latus rectum. Our first endpoint ng latus rectum is negative 2 and negative 33 over 32. Okay, yung second endpoint is negative 6, negative 33 over 32. Okay, kompleto na tayo nung mga parts na nasolve natin ng parabola. This time, lagay na natin yung general equation na given. Yung general equation natin is 8x squared plus 64 plus 63 is equal to 0. Okay, ito na yung parabola natin. As you can see in our graph, sakto yung mga points na nasolve natin. Okay, this our vertex or two endpoints ng lattus rectum are focus in our directrix. Therefore, masasabi natin na tama yung mga sagot na nakuha natin. Example number two. Find the general equation of a parabola with axis parallel to the y-axis and passing through three points at negative one, three halves, 1, 0, and negative 3, negative 1. Okay. In our example number 2, yung pinapahanap is yung general equation ng no parabola. Wherein, yung given lang na binigay is yung axis of the cone is parallel to the y-axis at yung parabola natin is dadaan daw sa 3 points. With, wherein, yung 3 points are negative 1, 3 halves, 1, 0, and negative 3, negative 1. Okay. Since meron tayong sinabi na axis of the conic is parallel to the y-axis, may clue tayo kung ano yung format ng general equation na hahanapin natin. Okay. Yung palatandaan natin na kung ano yung axis of the conic natin, dapat doon sa general equation is mag appear lang yung variable na yun once. So, sinabi na y-axis parallel siya, dapat yung y na variable sa general equation natin is mag-appear lang siya na once. 
So, yung hinanap natin na general equation is may format dapat na ax squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equals to 0. Okay, ito yung kailangan natin general equation. Kung napansin ninyo, once lang nag-appear yung variable na y, tugma siya dun sa pattern na natandaan natin na yung axis of the polygon is para to the y-axis. Okay. Since yung pag-solve natin ng general equation, dapat yung appearance niyan is yung naka-x squared is wala dapat coefficient or 1 lang dapat yung coefficient niya. Okay. So therefore, divide natin yung each term ng equation by a. Itong equation na to is ma-reduce natin into form na x squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equals to 0. Ito yung reduce equation ng general equation natin. Ito yung dapat kalabasan ng final answer natin. Okay, Posit na tayo sa talagang hinahanap yung general equation. Kung napansin nyo, meron tayong 3 points. Yung gagawin natin ditong process is same dun sa process na ginawa natin sa circles determined by 3 points. Wherein, from these 3 points, mag-generate tayo ng 3 equations. And after those, makagenerate ng 3 equations, hanapin natin yung mga values no D, E, and F using elimination and substitution. Okay. So, this time, gawa tayo ng three equations from the three points. Okay. Yung first point natin is negative 1, 3 halves. Okay. Ganito yung ginagawa natin. Okay. This will become negative 1. So, for substitute natin, this is X, this is Y. Negative 1 squared plus D times negative 1 plus E times 3 halves plus F is equal to 0. I simplify 1 minus D plus 3 halves E plus F is equal to 0. Okay. Para mas maganda siyang tingnan, tanggalin natin yung fraction sa letter E. So multiply natin ito by 2. 2 minus 2D plus 3E plus 2F is equals to 0. Okay. Transpose natin yung constant. This is negative 2D plus 3E plus 2F ay negative 2 is equals to negative 2. Uh, ito yung equation number 1 natin. Equation number 1. Okay, next is yung point natin na 1, 0. Okay. Substitute natin yung x and y dun sa equation natin. Ito. 1 squared plus d times 1 plus e times 0 plus f is equals to 0. 1 plus d or e times 0, 0 plus f is equals to 0. Transpose natin yung constant d plus f is equals to negative 1. This is our equation number 2. Okay, next is yung pangatlo nating equation from the third point which is negative 3 negative 1 negative 3 squared plus d times negative 3 plus e times negative 1 
plus f is equal to 0. 9 minus 3b minus e plus f is equal to 0. Okay. Transpose natin yung 9. Negative 3b minus e plus f is equal to negative 9. This is our third equation. So, meron lang tayo three equations. So, ang next step natin is hanapin natin yung values ng D, E, at F using substitution and elimination method. Okay. I-add natin yung equation 1 at yung equation 3. Okay. Negative 2, D, plus 3, E, plus 2, F. So, negative 3. Okay. Cancel, I cancel natin yung 3 ay yung E So multiply natin yung equation 3 By 3 okay. Copyahin natin ulit 2D plus 3E Plus 2F Plus so negative 2 Multiply natin yung, yung positive 3. Okay, negative 9D minus 3E plus 3F. Okay, negative 27. Okay, perform natin yung iteration. Okay, negative ito. Negative 11D cancel plus 5F equals to negative 29. Okay, ito yung equation number 5 natin. Okay. From this equation number 5, ma-solve na natin yung value ng D or F using equation number 2. Okay. Yung equation number 2 natin is itus natin na F is equals to negative 1 minus D. Okay. Trans substitute natin yung F is equal to negative 1 minus D dito sa equation number 5. Okay. Negative 11 D plus 5 times negative 1 minus D is to negative 29. Negative 11 D plus negative 5 minus 5 D Plus so negative 29. Okay. Negative 11 D minus 5 D is negative 16. Negative 16 D. Transpose natin sa kabila yung negative 5 magiging positive. Edit. Negative 29 plus 5 is negative 24. Okay. D is equal to negative 24 over negative 16. Okay, lowest form natin, D is equal to 3 halves. Okay, meron na tayong value ng D. Okay, solve, naman, solve natin yung value ng F. Dahil meron tayong equation na F is equal to negative 1 minus D. Okay, F is equal to negative 1 Minus 3 halves. So, yung value ng F natin is equal to negative 1 minus negative 3 halves is negative 5 halves. So, meron na tayong F. Oh. Finally, mahanap natin o mawakan ba natin yung D, E, at F. Substitute natin kahit sa ang equation. Kahit, kahit sa equation 1 and equation 3 ng pala. So, sa equation 1 natin, substitute yung dalawa nating na hanap na values. Okay. Negative 2 times 3 halves plus 3e plus 2. Yung f natin is negative 5 halves is equals to negative 2. Negative 3 plus 3e minus 5 is equal to negative 2. 3e, negative 3 minus 5 is 
negative 8, transpose natin sa kabila, positive 8, plus negative 2, plus 8, okay, 3A, is equals to positive 6. Okay. 6 divided by 3, so yung value ng E natin, is equal to 2. Okay, ito yung tatlong pinapahanap na coefficient sa general equation natin. Yung D natin is 3 halves, yung F natin is negative 5 halves, at yung E natin is 2. So, makukuha natin yung general equation ng parabola natin at negative 1, 3 halves, 1, 0, at yung last point natin is negative 3, negative 1. So, finally, ito na siya. Our, stand, our general equation is x squared plus yung d natin is 3 halves 3 halves x plus yung e natin is positive 2 and then 2y plus f yung f natin is negative 5 halves okay. is equal to 0 ito yung general equation natin pero mas maganda yung general equation natin is lahat whole number so multiply natin yung general equation natin by 2 para ma move yung fraction natin so this will become 2x squared plus 3x plus plus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0 so ito yung general equation nung parabola na hinahanap dun sa problem natin, problem number 2. So, para ma-prove natin kung tama, i-grab natin sa Cartesian coordinate plane. First, i plot natin yung 3 points, tapos plot natin yung equation. Kung dadaanan talaga nung equation natin, ibig sabihin is tama yung nakuha natin general equation. The easiest way para ma-prove natin na tama yung nasolve natin na general equation is i-plot natin siya sa Cartesian coordinate plane. Dahil dapat yung nasolve natin na equation, kapag plot natin sa Cartesian, is dadaanan dapat niya yung tatlong given points. Okay, first, plot natin yung tatlong given points. Our first point is negative 1, 3 halves. Yung second point natin is negative 3, negative 1, and our last point is at 1, 0. Okay, finally, plot natin yung nasolve natin na general equation. Our general equation is 2x squared plus 3x plus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, tingnan natin kung dinaanan ba talaga ng parabola yung tatlong points na given. Okay, as you can see in our graph sa Cartesian, dinaanan niya yung tatlong point. At negative 3, negative 1, negative 1, 3 halves, and 1, 0. Therefore, yung nakuha natin general equation ng parabola is tama.